I'm Simone Biles, and I love my body. While this should have been a given, some people's insensitivity makes it very hard for others to be as confident as Simone Biles is about her body. But do not be mistaken, Biles is no stranger to hateful comments. Since gymnastics is defined as a sport that combines flexibility, endurance, strength, and agility, where athletes perform to showcase their abilities, people have created their own standard of what a gymnast's body type should be. Some view gymnastics as an aesthetic sport, defined as concerned with beauty or the appreciation of beauty, which is why it revolved around a gymnast's weight in the past. Actually, some still have an outdated view about gymnasts. This is arguably problematic as people's appreciation for body diversity within the sport of gymnastics is still not where it should be. In fact, some still assume that lighter girls fly higher. This is why it's important for the general public to understand that there is no one gymnast body. Case in point, powerful gymnasts like Sean Johnson and Simone Biles have a different body type than that of Natasha Lukin or Tasha Swiker. Nevertheless, all four are highly decorated, incredible athletes who have different strengths. While Natasha would openly admit that vault was difficult for her, Sean and Simone are absolutely amazing in that event. This has something to do with their body types and power to weight ratio. This is evidenced by the fact that Natasha was famous for her ballet-like lines and artistry that are just not inherent to other body types more than a standard body type for all gymnasts, it all boils down to their respective strengths. So the answer to the question, is there a specific body type for the gymnast, is a resounding no. Just look at the past few Olympic cycle gymnasts and compare their body types. They do not all look alike, yet they're successful in their own right. Whatever your body type is, you just have to be in shape to do gymnastics. However, this doesn't stop the naysayers from still nitpicking about gymnasts' weight. Being an Olympian doesn't mean anything to them. Take Mexican gymnast Alexa Moreno, for example. She is a lot of things, strong, agile, and talented. But most of all, she's an Olympian. Apparently, though, her accomplishments mean little to online trolls. Haters took to X, formerly Twitter, to call Alexa fat after she completed routines on the uneven bars, floor, balance beam, and vault in 2016. It did not seem to matter that she was fierce in her chosen sport, so much so that she was chosen as one of the best in her whole country. People still criticized her appearance. They did not pay attention to the fact that simply being able to compete at the Olympics in Rio de Janeiro is a remarkable feat in itself. Nope, the 22-year-old became a target after viewers saw her in the uneven bars, floor exercise, beam, and vault events where she placed 31st overall. Though she clocks in at a mere 99 pounds, a bunch of haters called her fat. One person posted a drawing of a pig with the words, Alexa Moreno upon finishing her gymnastics routine, while another said she should have been on a diet before attending the Olympics. Fortunately, plenty of people stepped up to call the bullies out on their BS. Sadly, though, it was not the first time an athlete received hate for his or her physical appearance, and it definitely was not the last. Even former artistic gymnast Sean Johnson was bullied for being bulky, stocky, too big, too short, and too fat. It was always frustrating for me because in my career, I was not the stereotypical gymnast body that everybody seemed to think was perfection, she shared. Former Olympic gymnast Natasha Lukin, too, had been at the receiving end of Hayden criticism. She was called fat when she gained weight after the Olympics and later on accused of being too thin. Lukin admitted that she constantly gets body shamed for her weight and has been accused of being both fat and too thin. When she gained 25 pounds after retiring from gymnastics, she received criticism. People remembered me as this petite blonde gymnast in a leotard, and then I go through the normal body changes and people are like, oh my God, you're so fat, she shared. Because of this, she struggled with her confidence and began skipping out on events to hide in her apartment. 
when she eventually accepted that her body wouldn't look the way it did when she was training for the Olympics, she stopped pressuring herself. But as she focused on her health and started to lose weight, the body shaming shifted to accuse her of being too thin. Haters will just keep on hating, won't they? There's no pleasing them, and no one should, really. Admittedly, it's hard to stop paying attention to such criticisms, but people will learn to just shut them out eventually. After all, what truly matters is what people you actually care about say, and they would probably be supportive rather than critical. On that note, it is especially painful when the hate is coming from your own inner circle. In what appears to be a blog post, former artistic gymnast Caitlin Ohashi shared her experience how she received cruel, unwanted body remarks from just about everyone, coaches, fans, gymnastics followers, national team staff, my mother, and even myself. The negative comments about her body from coaches as well as social media users dissolved Caitlin's love for gymnastics. In a video, Caitlin shared quotes of what coaches have said to her, including, you don't look like a gymnast, you look like you swallowed a pig. For Simone Biles, it was a male coach who called her fat. Apparently, she overheard a coach say, you know why she crashed? Because she's too fat. That's why. How does she expect to compete like that? That was after she didn't perform as well as expected at a meet in 2013. It stuck to her as a painful incident, which is understandable. It was really hard, because growing up I never felt overweight or fat, so it shocked me. Like, why would he say that? The then 19-year-old shared in an interview, but in a way it actually shaped me for the better, because it just taught me to rise above and to love my body no matter what. She further shared that her then Olympic Final Five teammates, Lori Hernandez, Ali Raisman, Gabby Douglas, and Madison Kosian, have also been victims of body shaming. We'll talk about it because we're all going through the exact same thing, she said. But we're all born with unique types of bodies, and we've proved that you can have any type of body and be good. Even then, Simone learned to embrace herself. In a tweet, she bravely said, You all can judge my body all you want, but at the end of the day, it's my body. I love it, and I'm comfortable in my skin. She used to at least try to ignore the criticism she gets about her looks, but she's over it. I've learned to put on a strong front and let most of it slide, she said. But I'd be lying if I told you that what people say hasn't gotten me down at times. Eventually, though, she had enough of everything in life being turned into a competition. So at the end of the day, in my head, I just tell myself, like, walk a day in my shoes and see how hard it is. I am done competing versus beauty standards and the toxic culture of trolling when others feel as though their expectations are not met. Because nobody should tell you or I what beauty should or should not look like. At the end of the day... To me, healthy body image is when you feel confident with yourself um, in and out. Hopefully, body shaming will eventually no longer be an issue across all sports. But speaking of vials, will we be seeing her in Paris? Watch this to find out.